Welcome back once again to howtocookredfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. As you can see, on the menu today, we're gonna to do a lamb stew. It's deep, it's slow cooked, it's super tender. We've got some lovely aromatic Middle Eastern stroke Arabic spices in there. Delicious, I'm just gonna finish this off with a few flaked almonds. Let's go and take a look at the ingredients that we need. Okay, let's get started. Now we're gonna do this in a couple of stages. I'm gonna show you first all the spices that we're gonna use on our meat, and we're gonna get that on the go. We're gonna be adding some potatoes, a few vegetables, and some tomatoes to this as well, but first let's do this stage. So here, I've got just over one kilogram, one kg of lamb. I've got some bone in there. I've got some lovely pieces of nice meat, a little bit of fat. Beautiful, you can use any part of the, 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 the lamb you want really, but yeah, it's gonna be a nice slow cooker one. Well, we're gonna get some spices in, so let's check these out. And by the way, I'm gonna put a list of all of these and the amounts below, so don't panic. Okay, here we go. Salt and pepper, in that goes. I'm adding one teaspoon of chili flakes. Take a look here. Here we've got one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of green cardamom powder and two teaspoons of black lime or black lemon. You should be able to find that in most stores, but depends on where you live, obviously. Let's get that in. Here we go, more spices. Here we've got two teaspoons of chili powder, cumin powder and coriander powder. In that goes. And the last spices here, we've got one teaspoon of nutmeg, ginger powder, fennel powder, and cinnamon powder. So as you can see, we've got a load of spices in here, and it's super, super aromatic. I've got some oil here that I'm gonna just put on. There's like half a cup there. And what that's gonna do is just sort of help all the spices get onto the meat and kind of keep it together. That was about yeah, like I said, I think it's about half a cup, quarter of a cup. And yeah, I've used sunflower oil. You could use olive oil. You could use any oil you want, in fact. That's it. What we're gonna do is give this a nice mix and then we're gonna get to the cooker. So we're gonna be needing a large pot with a lid. And I've got the heat on. And simply what we're gonna do, you can see our lovely meat there, spiced meat. Now, if you wanted and you've got time, you could pop that in the refrigerator overnight you know, for a few hours, that'll do, do some wonders to it, no doubt. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna go straight in today. Let's get all of those, well, as much of these spices as we can, into the pot. I'm gonna turn the pot onto medium. Now, we've got oil on there already, so no need to add any oil, everything's straight in. And, yeah, this is a bit of a long cooker. It's gonna take a long time to cook this one, but it's gonna be absolutely delicious. So, let's go just with that, like this medium heat for about eight to 10 minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. Okay, so this has been going for about 10 minutes on a kind of medium-ish type heat. We've got some lovely color on it. Our spices are doing their thing absolutely nowhere near cooked. I mean, we're gonna be cooking this for a long time, like I say. Next up, I'm gonna add some stock. I'm gonna be using some chicken stock. You could be using the beef stock, vegetable stock, or just water if you wanted. We're gonna get that in. And there's half a litre there, or you just need enough to kind of, you know, just cover it like this. Okay, we're gonna turn the heat up. Not to maximum, but you know, just a higher medium. Now, let's get a lid on. And let that go for another 10 minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. Okay, so why our lamb is shooing away there, let's take a look at the other ingredients. So at the back here, I've got one can of tomatoes. I've also here on this side here, got some tomato paste, that's 135 grams of. And then I've got a quarter cup, quarter cup here, these two. So half a cup of dried fruit. So I'm using raisins and sultanas. You could be using, you know, some apricots or something like that to give it some kind of nice sweetness. One tablespoon of garlic, a few optional chilies, I'm putting them in whole. And then as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, there are vegetables and very roughly equal parts. I'm using eggplants, 
zucchini, potatoes, carrots and onions. And like I say, I'm going to put all of the amounts in the text below. Let's get back to the cooker and give that little lamb a little stir. So I've just taken the lid off, that was going for another 10 minutes. I've now lowered the heat back to a medium. And with the lid off now, again, another 10 minutes. It will kind of evaporate out a little bit, the moisture will go down somewhat. Give it a stir every now and then. So as you can see, a lot of that moisture has gone steamed out, got a lovely little sauce there. And what that's done, it's really helped our lamb on its way. We're giving it a real chance now to be super tender. Okay, next up, we're gonna add in onion. I'm using red and it's sliced. I'm also gonna put in some garlic, like a tablespoon of garlic there, chopped. I'm gonna add that optional chili. And we're gonna go on this medium heat for about another four minutes. This is looking fantastic. Now I'm gonna add in, I've got four vegetables left. So I'm gonna add in my two hardest ones, which are carrots and potatoes. If you're adding celery and things like that, or some other type of beets, or something harder, you wanna get them in about now. I'm also gonna add in my dried fruit. Like I say, I'm using raisins and sultanas. But like I said, think about something like apricots, they could be delicious. Okay, another four minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. It's looking wonderful if you ask me. Look at this, incredible. Okay, next stage. We're gonna add that one can of tomatoes. We're going to add that 135 grams of tomato paste. And then we're going to add another half litre, so one litre in total of stock. You can be using any stock that you want. So the heat now needs to go to above a simmer, not simmer, just above. We're going to get a lid on this and we're gonna let it go for about 20 to 25 minutes. Nice and gentle. You can give it a stir if you want. I'm probably not going to. I'm just gonna leave it alone. See you in 25, 25, yeah, 30 minutes. Keep it nice and gentle. Okay, so low and slow it's been. I've come to the lid. This is looking divine. So, we're gonna add some vegetables now, our last vegetables. Now, you only wanna do that if you know that your meat's kind of tender now, or tenderish, or definitely on its way. So yeah, if, if you've still got tough meat, you need to continue this process until it softens. Depends on the quality of meat that you've used. I'm ready anyway, so I'm gonna go in with some eggplants, some zucchini, and a nice handful of chopped flat leaf parsley. Nice mix. We're gonna stay low and slow again. We're gonna let this go for about another eight minutes, I would say. And we're done. You can give it a stir. Every now and then. Okay, off goes the heat, off comes the lid, out goes the steam. Check this for salt, you might want to add a bit more salt. For me, it's going to be perfect. And that is looking amazing, really, really lovely. Fall off the bone, beautiful lamb in that deep tomato. Hope you enjoyed that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, please do take time to click that bell icon and join us on the community tab on YouTube. I'm often on there these days chatting nonsense. See you later, lots of love.